On the 78th anniversary of D-Day and 4th of July, now less than a month away, honoring veterans is going to continue throughout the rest of the summer. In Wichita Falls, Presbyterian Manor is getting Operation Thank a Veteran underway to get as many cards as humanly possible to those vets around 4th of July. Zach Verdia looked into that for us today, and Zach, this makes quite the impact on the staff and for sure those residents. That's exactly right, Daryl. They are hoping to make this 11 straight years that they've surpassed a 300 card goal they set to get each veteran resident at least a few different cards. Each year, the staff at Presbyterian Manor does all they can to make sure their veteran residents are always honored. It doesn't cost anything. It just takes a couple of minutes and it's 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 going to make you feel good to do it and it's going to make that veteran feel good to receive it. 11 straight years in fact. And so far, they've surpassed their goal of 300 cards all 11 years. And marketing director Jerry Thomas says seeing the 50 or so veterans' reactions is what it's all about. While most people are going on picnics or going to the lake, boating for 4th of July, we want these veterans to get this thank you from a stranger, someone they don't even know, uh, that thanks them for their service. So it, it really kind of touches your heart when, when you see that happen. The same goes for the vets receiving them. Staff here is outstanding. I, I, uh, and I don't say that because this young lady's here. Like 40 year Army vet Dale Nelson, who was aboard the fourth wave to storm the beaches of Normandy 78 years ago, who says each year more and more people use email, so getting cards thanking them for their service makes it that much more special. They don't have enough time to write a card and. and Hope you're doing well. It's kind of not too much. But these cards we get because of our service, our, our treasures, they really are. Plus, staff really makes it easy on the community. You just have to head to their site, pick which card you want to send, and add a message for a veteran. And Thomas adds the community always comes through. Uh, we, we, we get so many that are just heartfelt and people are so appreciative for the, for the service that the men and women uh, gave for our country and the sacrifice. And we want, we want all the seniors to know that it, it doesn't matter how long ago it was, it's not forgotten. A few easy steps to make a meaningful impact on those who put it all on the line for others. And we'll make it easy on you too. You can find a link to Operation Thank a Veteran so you can send a card inside this story over on our website. That's wonderful, Zach. I know that they so appreciate that and being able to save those cards for many years. Okay, thanks so much.